This video is going to focus on the German twisted cast on. This is a long tail cast on method, which simply means that rather than starting at the short end of your yarn and creating a cast on that works with this long tail, what we do is actually wind off a length of yarn equal to that needed to cast on our stitches, fold the yarn in half, and actually use two lengths of yarn to create our cast on. To start the cast on, I like to gather the stitches using the last three fingers on my hand and kind of form like a gun with my hand, place my thumb inside of it and create a little lasso with my yarn. I don't like to start with a slip knit or a slip knot. You certainly can. I'm going to show you the technique I use to not start with a slip knot. With my, uh, if I if I look at my uh, slingshot here, or yeah, I'm going to bring my needle up underneath, turn my hand, and place my thumb on it so that that stitch doesn't fall off. I'm then going to bring my needle under both loops that my thumb creates. Put the needle back between those two loops, or between that loop I should say, and go backwards towards my finger. I'm going to go behind that and go into this little tiny triangle. That's the hardest part of starting so that you don't lose that first stitch. Now I'm going to show you how the remainder of it goes. We've got our, our longer tail that we wound off over our thumb. And again, we've got our slingshot shape. We're going to go under both loops created by the thumb and back between that triangle. Now we're going to twist our hands and bring the needle behind the, the yarn over our pointer finger and bring it back through that tiny little triangle and pull it snug. One more time, we're going to get our, our little gun ready here. We're going to go under both loops on our thumb and back between them. We're going to turn our hands and bring the needle behind the thread or the yarn over our pointer and through this tiny little triangle. You'll notice I keep grabbing the uh, stitches with my thumb, and that's more just an anxiety of not wanting the need or the stitches to fall off. I'm going to show you one more time. Hopefully I can do it without covering the stitches with my thumb. We're going to go under both loops and back between. Twist our hands and pick up the back loop. Oh, there we go. And pull it through that tiny little triangle. There we go. One last time in our little gun here. Go under both loops, through the triangle, twist it to the back and pull it through. So this is a great option for um, the brim of a hat or the top of socks if you have a tighter cast on. Um, it's also really wonderful if you're a brioche knitter because it gives you a nice sturdy edge without having the uh, tension that you might get with other long tail cast ons. This is just a really strong cast on that still has stretch so you can work with your stretchy items. So there you go. You'll get the rhythm of it quickly and your cast-ons will become nice and quick. Best of luck and happy knitting!